Hey, hey, welcome to Live with Lynn. So if you're here, say hi. If you're watching the replay, be sure to type replay so I know you were here. I'm Lynn Huber, and I appreciate you being here today. So today I'm going to talk about how to handle a fake person. I'm sorry, I got something's tickling my eye. Um, how to handle a fake person. We all seem to know that one person who fakes their way through life, right? I mean, we hope we're wrong about something like that, but it's hard to, it's not hard to tell when someone's being fake. And when someone is being fake, there's consequences to your relationship with them. For starters, when someone isn't being themselves, you can never fully trust them, right? Hi, Karen, good to see you. So if, if we can't trust them, that means that we can't trust them with our information or problems, and you probably can't share your good news with them either. And someone who's constantly pretending to care or trying to please people, it can take a toll on you. So if you suspect that someone in your life is faking it, you might want to think about moving on, really. I mean, life is too short to waste time on friends or even family members who pretend to care more than they really do. Especially it's too short to have fake friends, right? So, you know, wouldn't it be awesome if every person we met were genuine and perfectly comfortable and confident in their own skin? It would be so much easier to find the people with whom you can connect deeply and know who you can trust. Hi, Anitra. Good to see you. But unfortunately, many people aren't comfortable with who they are. And so they try to be the person they think others would want them to be. And this stems from a deep need for social acceptance that, so that they can feel, you know, they, they just don't, it's not something they can provide for themselves, right? So often, fakeness is more of a survival skill that these people have learned in order to protect themselves from getting close to anyone. If they never really reveal who they are, then they're never in danger of being in, inevitably hurt, right? So having someone like this in your life can be difficult though. I mean, especially if you suspect that under all that fakeness, there really is a genuinely likable person. So how do you deal with someone who's fake? Well, you know, first off, you might want to limit your time with them and, and take them out of your lives, right? But if that's not the right answer, because maybe it is someone who you feel like maybe deep down they are a likable person, right? So I have a couple of ideas about how to handle those fake people in your life so that you can move on to bigger and better things. So the first one, don't react emotionally to the fake behavior from your friend. Even when you're beyond aggravated at the fake behavior, try to keep your temper in check. You know, over overreacting might be exactly what this person is seeking. If the fake person is telling lies and you know the truth, explain that you know the truth and that you feel they're lying, but do so with no anger or judgment, just a statement of fact, right? Let the person know that you can see right through who they are pretending to be. Let the person know that they don't have to be anyone except who they truly are. You know, a little unconditional love and acceptance can go a long way with this type of person because it's really what they want, right? So allowing them to feel that unconceptable, that unconditional love and that acceptance, it might be the very first time they've ever had that opportunity. And this can help them feel safer to be who they are instead of someone they think they want, that, that you want them to be. So fake people are often caught in the lies they tell the people because they're, you know, they're always telling lies to perpetuate their intended stories and letting, so letting them know that it's just not necessary can open a door that might just change their life. And it might change your relationship if they feel like they don't have to be that with you, right? But another thing though, remember, it's not all about you. The way fake people act has nothing to do with you and everything to do with them. Remember, they are trying to prove something to themselves and others, but when they don't get that validation from other people, they're just more likely to walk away. So don't engage in any interactions if you can avoid it. And keep reminding yourself that they aren't lying to you, they're lying to themselves. And while it might be frustrating to deal with this kind of person, remember that they are the ones that are really suffering. Anitra says, I know someone who is fake. I've known her for years. I've learned to just talk to her minimally. That's sometimes exactly how you have to deal with it, right? I do. I also know people that way. Um, yeah, and sometimes you just have to keep your space and, and not interact with them, you know, as much as much as you, um, you know, normally would. And that leads right into this. So if nothing else seems to work, you might have to limit your time with a fake person or eliminate them from your life altogether. It's a hard decision to make, but it might be necessary to protect your own mental health. If you limit the time you spend with them, you limit the aggravation that they can potentially cause you. 
You know, if you're forced to be social with them, try to keep a distance and keep communications polite but short, just like Anitra just said, you know, talk to them minim minimally, right? You know, when you meet somebody, if you get a yucky feeling in your belly about someone, it's it's highly unlikely that you're wrong. You know, trust your gut when you meet people. And if you find that someone is talking about everything except themselves, there's probably a good chance that it's because they don't really want you to know anything about them. It's a charade and it takes a lot of work to keep it going. But it can be hard to accept that someone that you're close to is fake. You know, maybe it's a friend, right? But for your own sake, you might have to limit your exposure to these types of people. Keep in mind that just because one person is fake, it doesn't mean that you're ever going to find, you're never going to find true friends again. I mean, you know, not everybody's fake, right? Only it's very few people, right? So be open for new friends and believe in friendship and be positive and move on and meet new people because you're going to find many more new friends, which you can nurture on trust and admiration. And that's the assured solution for your biggest concern about how to deal with fake people. So, hey, now I'd love to hear from you. Have you ever had to deal with a fake person in your life? What kinds of things helped you to maintain that relationship? Or did you just have to let it go? Or maybe like Anitra said, you know, just kind of talk to them minimally, right? So please share your thoughts in the comments below. I would love to hear your stories. Thanks for being on with me today, Karen and Anitra and anyone else who might be here but just hasn't commented and anyone who's watching the replay. I appreciate you. So go out there and have an amazing day and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.